start right here, uh, third row on your right, Ryan. Ryan, you enter the game after a lot of craziness. Garcia gets plunked out two-base homer. How do you kind of reset yourself and get yourself ready for that ninth inning? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously that was completely unintentional, man. Like, just one of those balls that just kind of slipped out of his hand and emotions ran high. And, you know, it's obviously not the game that we want to kind of do that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, it's it's kind of a chaotic moment. You're trying to calm down. Uh, you kind of get catapulted into that game. So best best way you can do it is just go out there and just try to stay within yourself. Don't try to do too much. You know, let your defense work behind you and, you know, trust in Maldi and, you know, just try to make quality pitches. Other questions for Ryan? What else we got? Not all at once. <laughs> we'll go to Jerome right here on your left. Obviously, you know your role on the team, but there's a point there you're like, you just there's nothing you can do until they give you the ball. What do you see when those guys and you guys have done it so much in the postseason, especially Jose Altuve, where they can they can get you that lead almost regularly it seems. Yeah, I mean every time you know Jose steps up to the plate, something special can happen. Um, you know I don't want to overshadow. You know Singy's at bat was was huge, and then Diaz's single was huge, so I kind of set up for that moment. Um, again, it's it's you know Jose's never too big for the moment man he just thrives in those kind of situations so um it was it's special to watch him play i'm i'm beyond grateful to be his teammate because i get to see stuff that you guys don't on and off the field so he's a he's a special player man and it's really fun to watch